going on, Joe? Oh, hey, Dave, what's up? Well, you know, I figure I know a lot about video games, and I think people would enjoy that, so I was thinking I might want to make my own YouTube channel. Well, I've actually watched some YouTube videos. I can help you with that. Dude, that'd be awesome. Okay, rule number one, Dave. You have to do your entire show in front of a game shelf similar to this one. Well, luckily, I do have a game shelf at home that's full of games just like yours, but I don't see why. I mean, why do I have to do it in front of a shelf? Let me show you an example on the computer. Oh, okay. Okay, you gotta check out this console gamer guy. He's really happy. Okay. Hello and welcome to another episode. Today I'd like to talk about the E series. It's on the PC Engine. It's been a while since I talked about the E series, but first I'd like to talk about my game shelves behind me. I was one of the first YouTubers to have a game shelf behind me. He's got a lot of memories, doesn't he? He does indeed. Well, I remember going down to get that game. How long ago was that? Oh, it was 20 years, 6 months, and 5 days ago. Oh, who was with me? It was Bob Cornhole. Wow, I haven't thought about Bob Cornhole in a while. <laughs> well, I don't, that's all right, I guess. But, you know, I don't, maybe I shouldn't go it alone. Maybe, maybe, maybe you and I could do something together. Uh, actually, there already is a show with hosts called Joe and Dave, though it's not really? very good. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. Hello and welcome to GameSack. That's this exactly right, Joe GameSack. This time we're talking about games that use the select button. Again, There's once again, you are totally right, Joe. We're talking about the select button here and games that use it. So see, they do have our same names, but they are a lot uglier than we are though, and a lot more boring. That's exactly right. But you know what? They've got some really cool game shirts. It really is, and we're gonna cover every single game that uses the select button. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's start with Aero Blasters on the TurboGrafx-16. This one's got four mega power! In this cool shooter, the select button doesn't do anything during gameplay. But if you press it at the same time as the run button, it resets to the title screen. Wow. Game sack, more like ball sack, am I right? <laughs> That's right, Joe. <laughs> Next up is Air Zonk, also for the TurboGrafx-16. In this one, pressing select will adjust the speed of Zonk. It will also reset the game when used with the run button. Actually, all TurboGrafx games do this, but we've got to cover them all. Which leads us to Andre Panzi kickboxing on the TurboGrafx-16. Well, that sucks. I mean, what a coincidence. These guys have the same names yeah. as us. But wow. how about this? How about it's just me and every once in a while, I'll have a random guest on there that'll just talk about it. So, no, no. Metal Jesus Discos already has that market cornered. You can't do that either. Who? The, I'll show you. Okay. It's the Metal Jesus, and I'm back again. With me is Bob Cornhole. He's going to show us some hidden gems. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I, first, I just want to say you're really good at guitar. I like your stuff. Why, thank you. Yeah, it's really good. So you got some hidden gems for us. Uh, what, what do you have for us? Um... Yeah, I, I brought a couple games, and um, oh. th this first one's on the Sega Genesis. Uh huh. And it's pretty rare, and it's um, Sonic 2. Oh, okay. I, mm -hmm. I I may have heard of this one. Sonic 2 is a hidden gem. What an idiot! Yeah, and you you play as that blue thing, and and you run around, and then there's a bad guy in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, what else you got for us? Um, well, you know, I, I brought a Nintendo game since I'm a big Nintendo fanboy, mm -hmm. and um, it's. It's uh, Super C, and um, and I uh, the C stands for something. I just I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet you he thinks C stands for cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's pretty cool and nice. Yeah, somebody told me to buy that game, so I bought it. So. Cool. Well, yeah, go go check it out. Yeah, yeah. So you got one more thing for I, us uh, today? Yeah, yeah, I brought this. This is really cool. It's pretty rare. It's it's a. Um, a shell to a PlayStation 2. Oh, it's the top half of a PlayStation 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think this is a game, but that's just fine. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, thank you for coming on the show, Bob Cornhole. Yeah. And remember, only through salvation can you be saved. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't I don't know. That's that's all right for that guy, but I don't think it would work for me. No, it wouldn't. So no. what are we going to do for your show then? Um, How about this? I'll be 
It'll just be me. I'll be on the camera very minimal. And the whole rest of the episode will just be my voice because people have actually said I've got a great radio voice. So I'll just do a voiceover actually, for the whole episode. Actually, Dave, remember, I watch YouTube. So yes. th this is what I'm here for, to tell you that that has already been done. You're kidding. Somebody's I done that? I am not. Why don't I watch YouTube? You should sometimes. Right, well, so, show me this okay. clown. Banished from space, plastic game room broadcast from the intergalactic office in Pittsburgh on its never-ending mission to review Truxton on the Sega Genesis. Yes, I know I reviewed this one before, but you can't have too many reviews of Truxton. Now, according to the game's box, which I actually have, believe it or not, the Gaidens have blown up your planet's cargo barge. Oh no, not the cargo barge. What was in the cargo barge, you ask? Probably thousands of copies of Truck on the Sega Genesis. I'd say that's reason to go to war. In this one, you have three different weapons you can collect and power up. And if you find yourself surrounded, you can always blast them to death with the Death Blast. They call this the Rainbow Circle Shot on the box, which... Once again, I actually have Truxton on the Sega Genesis is a fantastic time. Truxton. And I've got a plastic game room shout out and thank you to send to Bob Cornhole. Thank you, Bob, for sending in the box and may you death blast your enemies with the rainbow circle shot. You know, Joe, this is just ludicrous. Everything I've tried has already been taken by some other joker. What am I supposed to do? This is just stupid. Dude, calm the hell down. No, I don't want to. Being irate has already been done. Well, Look. of course it has. Yeah. Everything else has been done. Look! All right, let's try this out. Crap! Let's try this again. What the hell? Is this a video game or a test of patience? Time to call in the genie. Yeah! I showed this game who's boss! Well, this game isn't half bad! I pleasure my ass with it. Bang a lang. This is just stupid. I mean, look at this. This guy just uses a green screen for special effects. You can tell he's not even mad at all, and he gets tons of views! Well, actually, not really so much anymore. This is the angry reviewer who gets a lot of views. His videos are a blast for his ass. He's gonna give you plenty of sass. He likes to have a shaped scrotum that he can rub all over each of his games. He'll swear a lot like no tomorrow because that really is made way to fame. Ass is his favorite word. After that, it just might be turned. He'll definitely flip the bird. He's just a really pissed off nerd. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse on the Sega Genesis. Now, when I was younger, I was pretty much all about Nintendo. Heck, I'm still completely uneducated about anything that's not Nintendo. So let's give this a shot and see how this little turd is. Alright, so you're playing as Mickey Mouse as he appeared in the late 50s all the way up through the 90s. If you touch anything, you get hurt. Ass! In order to defeat the enemies, you need to bounce on them with your ass. That's right, Mickey uses his ass. 
ass to kill. Ass. Does his ass smell so bad that the enemies just die on the spot? And look at Mickey when he stands still, swaying his ass back and forth. It's like he's saying, yeah, you want some of this ass? Oh, I'll give it to you, all right. Ass. Mickey can also throw things like apples, but little did I know that the apples would have something in store for me. Oh, yes. <gasps> How am I supposed to get past that? I try to make it to the hole fast enough, but I just can't do it. There's no way not to get hit. What were they thinking? You want some turds or some onions? Not now, turd onion. Well, you can go to hell. I try to be nice to people. I'm Once you get past that, you're on a bunch of giant leaves hopping from one to the other, but you can't do it because you keep falling over and over and over. It's horrible. I'd rather rip out my colon, squeeze out every last bit of excrement, throw it in a blender with a dog's neuter testicles, a cat's furry scrotum, and some anus wrinkle cream, blend it all up, and then drink a nutty turd ass smoothie than play this crap. All right, Joe, well, I think I've seen enough YouTube for today, so I've got some good ideas. I'm just gonna go to my house, make a video, show you, and you can tell me what you think. So good, see ya. I wonder if Dave ever got his video uploaded. Hmm, looks like he did. Hi, and welcome to the Exasperated Gamer. I'm Dave, and you can tell that I like video games because I've got a bookshelf full of them right here. And I'm wearing a video game t-shirt. Damn it, I need a hidden gem right now. Here's a hidden gem, Super Mario 3. This hidden gem is ass. This game has three, three mega, mega power. power. It's too hard, I can't get past it. Ass. It's not as good as Truxton. I'd rather have diverticulitis in my colon than play this crap! Yes! Thank you for watching the first episode of The Exasperated Gamer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe! Ass. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.